The first step is to open up the Kidspiration program by double-clicking on the Kidspiration 3 icon on your desktop. There will be several options to choose from including picture view, writing view, math view, etc. We are going to click on the math view option. There will be several more options such as color tiles, pattern blocks, base 10 blocks, fraction tiles, and fraction boxes. We are going to be working with the base 10 blocks, so simply select that option. On the left side of the screen, you will see options of cubes, the first one being the single unit. By clicking on this cube, they will appear one by one into the workspace. Below the unit option is the tens option. The tens are offered vertically or horizontally. By clicking on one of the items and holding down the mouse, you can drag the item throughout the workspace. And by releasing the mouse, you can place it wherever you wish. The next choice is the hundreds option. By clicking the object you wish to change the color of, you can change its color by clicking on one of the choices along the bottom toolbar. If the color you want is not shown, you may click the square button here to see many more options. If you wish to make more than one item the same color, this can be done by simply highlighting the blocks with your mouse, all of the objects desired, so that they have a black outline around them, and then change the color the same way as before. One very helpful feature on Kidspiration is the button on the toolbar over here, which allows the units to come apart from one another or come back together. This tool works well to give the students a clear understanding on how 110 is equivalent to 10 units. The button just over the left with the X on it will stamp X's in the desired unit. Text can also be inserted into the Kidspiration workspace by clicking on the ABC button in the toolbar over here. You can then drag the box into the workspace however long and wide you wish. By double clicking inside the box you can begin to type. The box can then e be easily moved throughout the workspace or expand it. By clicking the black diagonal line button you can insert a line and move it wherever you wish. By clicking on the red box on the end of the line, you can angle the line or make it longer. You can delete an object by first clicking on it, and then clicking the eraser on the top toolbar. The arrow allows you to undo or redo an action you just performed. It is important to remember to save your document periodically, and this can be done by clicking on File, followed by Save As. The voice feature on Kidspiration makes it easy for all children to use.